back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. So today I'm going to be sitting down to full my 24th birthday sleigh. Now I used the Nightwing palette when I first got it to create a lot of looks and one of those looks was this purple smoky eye. So because I went a little bit off the greeny gold route last year, I thought let me try the purple route this year. I kind of changed it up a bit from the original look that I did and all that good stuff. So if you guys would like to see how I got this 24th makeup birthday sleigh, hey! then please keep watching <laughs> okay so we're first gonna start off with my Benefica brow in the shade number five I recently repurchased this yay and then on Spotify I am listening to my daily lift playlist and I'm just gonna be filling in my brows now disclaimer this is two days after my birthday and I want to apologize for the delay but better late than never right I've just been really busy on my actual birthday and it was just the days leading up to my birthday were, always, were also busy, so that's why this tutorial is a little late, but it's here, and that's the most important thing. So I'm just going to be filling in my brows. I missed micro brows so much, you guys. You have absolutely no idea. It's crazy. Next, I'm going to prime. I'm using my Kiki Beauty Makeup Pretty Face Primer and I am just going to massage this into my skin all over my face and then I'm taking my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and I'm just going to be concentrating this on my nose area and like my cheeks and my smile line area because that is where I will get creasing and then something I've been doing recently is just taking this powder puff that I kind of used to set my face and bake and just using whatever powders left and just setting the primer into place and I find that it helps my primer crease less. Does that make sense? Kind of sets my primer. Anyway, moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. And yeah, it created a splatter right there. And I'm going to be using my Fenty in the shade 330. If you guys can hear the thunder in the background, I do apologize. There is a storm right now. So I just mixed my Can't Stop Won't Stop in the shade Golden and my Fenty in the shade 330. I feel like these two foundations are very, very, very similar. But mixing them together just gives me like this perfect, like flawless finish. And I just absolutely love it. And I also love how yellow and nice this foundation is. I mean, it does probably pick up a little bit too intense on camera. But, I mean, in person, it just blends so... And then going in with my Allego Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And I am going to cream contour. I feel like when you use creams on the skin, it just gives you a more smooth, glowy, natural-esque your skin but better appearance you know what i mean so i'm gonna be going in and just applying this to my cheekbones to my forehead area my nose my jawline all that good stuff and then going in with my damp real techniques sponge and i'm just going to use the sponge to just blend everything onto the face using patting motions and just sort of blending everything all together. And then I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 30. And I'm going to be highlighting under my eyes. The tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin. And then I'm also going to go ahead and highlight my forehead and the bridge of my nose. I feel like this wand is just perfect to get your nose snatched. You know what I mean? I also really, really love this concealer because I do like to heavily bake. And I feel like the bake just looks flawless on top of this concealer. Like, I don't even have words. It just looks so smooth and so beautiful. So this has definitely been my go-to concealer recently alrighty and then it's time to bake with my revolution luxury banana powder and I initially just go in and kind of set the areas with a brush this is the real technique setting brush just gonna go in just sit under my eyes down the center of my face this is the only areas of my face that I actually set and yeah the rest of my face just doesn't move at all um, and then I'm gonna go in and just heavily bake a little bit more especially because we might get fallout with 
the eyeshadow. I'm taking this Dani Cosmetics foundation in the shade Waco and I'm going to be priming my eyelids with this. And then I'm taking the Chic Cosmetics Nightwing palette, taking the shade Catfish and I'm going to be working this into my crease. You can see it is quite pigmented and I'm just going to go back and forth into my crease and I'm also going to be taking this on my lower lash line. Don't forget to check my description bar because I do have a discount code for Chic Cosmetics and I believe you can get 20% off of your purchase. I do earn commission if you guys use my code so please please help a girl out and use my code. Next, I'm going to be taking Cancelled and I'm going to be mixing it with Catfish. Initially, I just go in with Cancelled and I'm just going to start working this into the outer corner of the eye and into the crease as well. And then I go in with Catfish and I just sort of blend out any harsh lines. I just lift this whole clip in so you guys could see that it's a kind of a work in process. A work in process a work in progress when you are using like black eyeshadow so you've got to go in and kind of finesse it and blend it you know next I'm going back in with that Waco shade and I'm going to be cutting my crease and I also left the entire clip of this in here a lot of people kind of use the bottom of their eyelid to kind of determine where they would cut their crease but the bottom of my eyelid doesn't quite touch the top of my crease so I just kind of open my eye and just kind of wing how I cut my crease if that makes sense so I'm just going to do that kind of fade it out towards the outer third of the eye and then taking the shade boy bye and I'm gonna pack this all over my lid this is such a beautiful purpley shade and it has like silver glitter in it so it's absolutely stunning don't mind me as I break it down while I pack this purple shade on. But this purple shade is honestly so beautiful and it's just the bomb. Next I'm taking my NYX Matte Black Eyeliner and I'm going to be drawing on some wings. Again, I kind of left this clip in so you guys could see. And yeah, for those of you who are starting out with winged liner, like practice, practice, practice. I promise you, practice makes perfect. And I used to be obsessed with gel liners. Now I'm just, I'm obsessed with liquid liners. It's it's weird. Next, I'm taking this BH Cosmetics Highlights. This is in the shade Psych, I believe. And this is like a iridescent, bluey, purpley vibe. And I'm putting that on my inner corners and then going in with my Benefit Roller Lash and applying this to my top and bottom eyelashes. I don't know why I just got distracted there. Next, taking my Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm just going to be setting all my contoured areas into place. Just making sure everything is nicely blended and, you know, snatching my face. Snatching my, my hairline, my cheekbones, my jawline, my nose and all that good stuff. Next, I'm going in with my Dupe, Dupe Factory. Yo, I can't even speak today, guys. Dupe Factory 9B Blush Palette. And I'm going to be blushing up my cheeks. And then taking my Ofra Everglow Highlight. Taking the champagne shade. And I am going to blind our body with this highlight. It is so beautiful, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to hit that on my cheekbones, on my temples. On my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, kind of do that exclamation on my nose, you know. And then I'm taking my NYX Mahogany Lip Liner. I honestly feel like this is a dupe for MAC Plum. It is a little bit on the plummy side and MAC, MAC Plum is a bit more neutral. But honestly, this has become my new favorite lip liner and it's just bomb. So I decided to go in and put my hair lashes minx on. And then I'm going in with my Colourpop Times I Love Sarai. This is the curvy lip gloss. It is so pretty. And then I'm going to go in with my Bionic Vape Setting Spray. Don't forget to, my, to check my description bar. I have a discount code as well. And lastly, I'm going to be setting my brows with my Ready Set Brow from Benefit. And that is it for this video. 
Okay you guys, so that is it for my 24th birthday sleigh. I don't know what my hair is doing. It doesn't want to set on the other side, but it seems to be setting on this side. So we're just going to let it do that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to slay all day, every day with Amada Makeup. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.